for another freezer check. The latest food recall from the USDA affects Tyson Foods frozen chicken strip products. The recall, which was issued on March 21 by Tyson Foods Inc., involves approximately 69,093 pounds of frozen, ready-to-eat chicken. The U.S. Department of Agriculture's Food Safety and Inspection Service FSIS, received complaints from two consumers who found pieces of metal in their chicken products, a Class I recall, the highest health risk, kicking Tyson Foods Inc. Into action. Get push notifications with news, features and more. Follow following you'll get the latest updates on this topic in your browser notifications. The three products of concern were produced on November 30, 2018, and are labeled as follows, according to FSIS, 25 ounces. Plastic bag packages of frozen Tyson fully cooked buffalo style chicken strips chicken breast strip fritters with rib meat and buffalo style sauce with best, if used by not 30 2019, case codes 3348CNQ0317 and 3348CNQ0318, and individual bag time stamps from 1700 hours through 1859 hours, inclusive. 25 ounces plastic bag packages of frozen Tyson fully cooked crispy chicken strips chicken breast strip fritters with rib meat with best if used by not 30 2019 case codes 3348 CNQ 0419 3348 CNQ 0420 3348 CNQ 0421 and 3348 CNQ 0422 and individual bag time stamps from 1900 hours through 2259 hours inclusive 20 pounds cases of frozen spare time fully cooked buffalo style chicken strips chicken breast strip fritters with rib meat and buffalo style sauce with best if used by not 30 2019 and case code 3348 cnq03 the recalled products are said to have been shipped to retail locations nationwide so the FSIS is urging consumers across the country to check if they have products from the contaminated batches in their freezers. Those who do should be sure not to eat them, instead throwing them out or bringing them back to the place where they were purchased. While no one has been reported injured or ill due to the recalled products at this time, Tyson and the FSIS recommend seeing a healthcare practitioner if you think you have been affected.